Hello everyone, my name is Mad Radio DX UK, Mike 7 Echo India Whiskey. I want to welcome you to this, uh, to this video, which is my quick uh, question and answers about the Shegu G90 versus the Shegu X6100. So the first question is, which transceiver do I find the best? The answer is the G90. It deals with basic antennas better, for example, my long wire antenna. It also has a better noise floor, um, as in background noise uh, reduction. Second question, is the X6100 good even though I prefer the G90? Well, the answer to that is yes, it's good. They both have their strengths and their weaknesses. Third question, which one do I get for the 6 meter band? The answer to that is the X6100 because it does cover the 6 meter band. The G90 does not and only goes up to the 10 meter band. Question 4. If I could only choose one of these Shegus, which one would it be? The answer is the X6100 because it covers the 6 meter band which I like to transmit on when there is activity. Again, the G90 doesn't have the 6 meter band. Question 5. Which is the better one for portable use? The answer is the X6100. Easy to carry around and it has its own internal battery for portable transmitting without the need for an external power source. Question 6. Which of the two is the cheaper option? The answer is the G90 by almost 100 British pounds. Base price I got it was uh, around 400 uh, British pounds, but it cost up to 500 pounds with the desktop fan stand and external USB interface adapter for digital modes like FT8 and FT4. The X6100 cost me almost 600 pounds, but you don't need any extras for digital modes. Just plug in the USB directly into the uh, X6100, the other into your PC, and you're already transmitting, for example, um, for FT8 mode. Question seven, which of the two is easier to learn and use for the beginner? The answer to that is they both have the same learning curve, in my opinion. It took me maybe the same amount of time um, to learn the features and menus of both transceivers. I cannot remember for how long, but I would say it was more or less the same time for both. Question 8. Which of the two has given me the best results for transmitting? The answer is they both have given me uh, great results for contacts in both voice transmissions and digital modes. For example, I've done FT8 contacts to Japan here in the UK with both the G90 and the X6100. I think they are both equal in for, uh, performance. Question 9. Have I had any problems with both? The answer is only the X6100 with its slightly higher noise floor, but no faults so far in the four months I've owned both since the date of doing this video. And question 10. Do I regret getting both transceivers even though I only needed one? The answer is no. As I said earlier, they both have their strengths and their weaknesses. Also, the G90 is only for home use. The X6100 is the only one I take outdoors, though I have used it indoors too. I feel very privileged to, uh, to own both. So that's my uh, quick uh, 10 questions and answers on the Shegu G90 uh, versus the Shegu uh, X6100. If you've got any more questions, uh, reference, you know, the two of them, you know, G90 versus X6100 or on each of one, uh, just let me know in the comments below. So thank you very much everybody for watching 73s and until the next video.